Good morning, folks. We're going to hit the sun, solar wind, a distant galaxy, a near record wind gust, a new component of the famine during the Little Ice Age, and an interesting bit out of Indian lore that's relevant to the disaster cycle. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that the sun was relatively quiet. Yesterday's central surge does not appear to have produced a CME, but we've got other space weather we're looking towards here over the coming hours. Northern filaments releasing here this morning. But NOAA's Enlil spiral was updated yesterday to include not only the coronal hole stream, but that filament release on the south from three days ago, delivering a glancing blow at the end of the coronal hole stream. You can see both of those on there, and the solar wind is already amplifying due to the coronal hole this morning, so we'll be on watch for that love tap of a CME coming in the hours ahead. Not scary, but could deliver minor geomagnetic storms. We're also monitoring the complex sunspot near center disk. It has managed to stay relatively quiet so far, but it is developing a delta-class magnetic field within it. We will be on flare watch here today. Up next, we're going way, way out to the most distant dead galaxy ever. It apparently ran out of juice and stopped producing stars so early in the mainstream timeline of the cosmos that it's making some astronomers, once again, question the mainstream timeline of the cosmos. They don't understand how it could have reached that stage so quickly. Up next, reanalysis confirms that a 205 mile per hour wind gust in Hurricane Otis last October was one of the fastest ever recorded. Longtime viewers, hopefully you recall that faster and faster wind speeds in these storms are what we expect in the magnetic excursion, like in, for example, Category 6 hurricanes, which we forecast. It's also what they're seeing on Venus. Folks, about nine years ago, we did the mega video about Grand Solar Minimum, the Little Ice Age, drought and famine across the world in the 1600s. We didn't have this one on the list. The timing, the drought pattern, it's possibly one of the first such examples of this event during the entire Little Ice Age process. And last but not least, interesting new book just came out in India. There are English versions of it as well. Essentially, it is their quintessential combination of science and the legends of their history, combining to foretell basically the same thing many in the West have been saying lately. Massive solar outburst, magnetic pole shift, ice age, global war, all on our doorstep and part of a repeating cycle. Can't get away from it in any corner of the globe, apparently. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.